The top of the remote for the S550e is going to have an auto open close option. The S500e's remote will not. Now, either of those two remotes will sit in a wall hanger, so these buttons are going to be easy to access when standing in front of the toilet or as you're getting up after using the toilet. If you're just getting the seat, you're gonna have either the auto open lid and seat, and that's for a guy if he's doing number one. So the remote's hanging here. I press this button, the lid and seat both open. I can do number one. If I have the S550e and I don't press this button, I walk in, the lid opens, and I can use it for number two, or the ladies can use it for number one. Now, if I have a 500e, this button won't be here because the 500e does not have auto opening. If you're pairing either the S500 or the S550 with a Washlet Plus unit, you may also get the auto flush functionality. Now, when you get the remote for a unit that has auto flush, it is still going to look like this. One of the most common questions we get when someone purchases the auto flush kit is, why did you send me the wrong remote? Because they look at the top of the remote and they say, there's no flush button. My manual says there should be. Well, your manual is correct, but the remote ships without those buttons installed. Installing them is actual, actually part of the auto flush installation process. Doing so is very straightforward. You just pop the top off. There's a little clip here. And you put the applicable top on. If you have a S550e, you're going to put the one on that has the auto open. If you have the S500e, you're going to put the one on that does not have the auto open. And you would just install it. It's also important to note that the remote itself actually picks up on the fact that this top is installed or not installed and will actually change the menu options on the remote accordingly. So I've had customers call me and say, hey, I don't have the options on the top of the remote. And I say, well, you need to change out your top. And they'll say, well, that's not the solution because I literally don't have the auto flush functions showing on the remote. Well, once you swip the, swap the top out, the remote picks up on the fact that you have auto flush because it can sense the new buttons and the options will show up on the remote. It's the same remote, it's just a different top. Now, if I put on these tops, here you can see I have two buttons, but there's a spot for a third. This would be the top for a unit that is the S550e because we have the auto opening and a single flush Washlet Plus toilet like a Nexus. If I had something like an Acquia 4 that had a soft and a strong flush, we'd actually see three buttons here, the, the large, the small, and the auto open. So we'd have three options there and the applicable auto flush kit that you would get would have the applicable options here. This is just, again, the auto flush kit for a single flush Washlet Plus system. Now, if this helped, but you have additional questions about other features on the S550 or S500 remote, check out the other videos in our playlist for this particular topic. If you're not currently in our playlist, a link to that playlist is in the video description, so feel free to check it out. Minibidays.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.